Okay, folks, it is a new day with a new daily tangle, and today's tangle is called balloon. No. Oh, ha ha ha, it does not say balloon. Look at that. I thought it said balloon, but it says ball ons because there's no double O. Ballons, not balloons. This is uh, by Genevieve. Um, apparently, what you do is you draw a bunch of circles that are overlapping. And then in the overlap, you fill it in. And that's it. And then you can do that with other shapes. Uh, the sample shows, you know, hearts overlapping or, uh, what is that? The teardrop overlapping or triangles overlapping. And then you just color in where they overlap. Simple, right? Can you do that? Can you draw a circle and then draw another circle on top and then fill in the spots in between? Yes, you can. You can do this. Don't tell me you can't draw. That's not acceptable. You can pick up a pen, you can draw, honestly. All right, let's, let's do this, the, the circle ones because I think that's fun. So we're going to draw a circular shape right there. And then I'm going to draw another one over here. Nice and big. And then a third one over here. And now I'm going to overlap things. I'm an overlapping one right there. And I'm going to have an overlapping one here. And maybe here. And maybe a big one that goes here. Yeah. And perhaps one that goes there. And perhaps one that goes here. I have really no rhyme or reason other than the fact that I'm just going to fill up the space. It looks like uh, looks like I've been blowing bubbles on the page, doesn't it? I like that. And here maybe. that feel composed? Yeah. Making it making a nice S shape right there or C shape. That's composed. Okay, I seem to I'm zoomed in further than I thought I was. All right. And then you just color in the other the uh Overlapping bits. Um, I don't think I'm going to color them in though. I'm going to color in dark where I have three of them. Like, like this. This has three of them overlapping. I'm going to... I'm going to just do... This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do stripes. And where they overlap, they're going to be stripes overlapping, and that will make them darker. Right? Indeed, it will. Because I don't feel like coloring all that in today. But 
the stripes are good. Conveys the same feeling. And where, the, where there are three, it is going to be almost completely full by the time I'm done with the stripes, right? So you know that it's a darker, more filled in spot. Absolutely. I think that's how I'm going to do this. We are just going to turn and stripe. Turn and stripe. That is going to be today's thought process. Turn and stripe. Do, 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 do. You know, one of the comments of uh, one of you guys said that that it doesn't bug you that there's silence. You know, when I go quiet, when I get in the zone, doesn't bug you. But they said, well, how about if you put some music? Um, I could put music that's somehow in the background. I don't really know how to do that after I make my video. But I have to be really, really careful as to if I was to like play music to draw to. Um, first off, most of my videos are, you know, a lot of them are over a half hour long. And most songs are only about three or four minutes. So I would need like ten different songs. And they would all have to be ones that are uh, royalty free or copyright free or whatever it is that they talk, that they, some sort of YouTube licensing thing so that you don't have your channel flagged by a recording company or an artist for copyright infringement and so you know what I'm just not going to hassle with it you know that's all there is to that one very simple I think that's really pretty just simple on its own I'm going to shade these little guys and make them bubbly but I think, I think I'm done. This is not balloons. B-A-L-L-O-N-S. And I'm just gonna shade these. I'm going to put a little bit of shading on this side every single one and that's all I'm going to do some of them are going to be more than others I guess you'll see more of the shading because of where the stripes are Okay, switch that around so I don't get my hand in it for the most part. Okay, but this one, you know, really honestly, if you can draw, if you can draw the letter O, you can make a circular 
where you start the pen in one spot and end it in the same spot and you go in a clockwise or counterclockwise fashion. If, if you can make any closed looped shape, they don't have to be round, they can be oblong, they can be amoeba-like shapes, they can be triangles, you know, any sort of shape. If you can make a shape and repeat it and overlap it, you can draw this. So don't tell me you can't draw. I don't want to hear that. I got a little carried away with my pencil. That is what an eraser is for. You might not even have been able to see that, but I did. And that darn phone is ringing again. I remembered to unplug it, but I can hear it out in the garage. I can't wait until this silly election is over and they stop calling every 10 minutes to tell me who to vote for. You know what? I don't know about you, but calling me up at home and annoying me is not making me want to vote for your candidate. Don't care. There was even one year, uh, a few elections back, that there was the candidate I was actually was going to vote for, and I changed my mind and chose not to vote for that candidate because their campaign was calling my house like three or four times a day in the last few days before the election. And it just bugged the crap out of me. It really did. And so I wrote a email to, to that candidate and said, you know, I was going to vote for you, but you made me so irritated with your constant barrage of phone calls that I'm now not going to vote for you. It's one thing to send me something in the mail because I can look at it and throw it away if I want to. It is a totally different thing to call me and make me get over to the phone and answer the phone and day after day after day you're calling back about the same thing. It's kind of like those guys who are trying selling solar panels for your roof. You know, once I've said no, don't call back. Because calling me the second time is not going to make me want to go to your company when you didn't listen to when I said no the first time. If I want your product, I know it's there. You've called me once, you know. I would can seek you out. I can say, oh, well now, now I have money for it or now I uh, have the incentive or the time or the resources to, to do this particular thing. And I might remember your name because you called the first time. But when you call and call and call and call and bug me, then I won't. I, I just don't want to do business with you. And I guess they get enough people who do do business with them that they continue the practice. But, you know, if everybody would just not pick up the phone with them because they called, they would stop calling. Okay, that's all I have for today. And you've listened to me rant about uh, political phone calls and telemarketers. So I think I'm done for the day. I've done my piece. I've, I've made my mark in the world. You guys have a really blessed day. This is an easy one. You can do it. Look at it. It's a short one. You know they're easy when they're short. Yeah. You guys have a really great day. Bye-bye.